How to install rubber flooring. Are you looking for a durable and easy to clean flooring option for your home gym or commercial space? If so, then you may want to consider rubber flooring. Rubber flooring is a popular choice for many homeowners and businesses because it is slip resistant, easy to maintain, and comes in a variety of colors and styles. If you're thinking about installing rubber flooring, then you're in luck. In this article, we'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install rubber flooring in your home or business. We'll cover everything from preparing the area to installing the flooring to sealing and maintaining the floor. So whether you're a do-it-yourselfer or you're hiring a professional, this guide will help you get the job done right. Steps to install rubber flooring. Rubber flooring is a durable, impact-resistant, and easy-to-maintain flooring option that is ideal for both commercial and residential applications. While it is often used in gyms and other athletic facilities, rubber flooring can also be used in basements, laundry rooms, and playrooms. Rubber flooring is available in a variety of colors, textures, and thicknesses, so it is easy to find a style that fits your needs. Installing rubber flooring is a relatively easy process, but there are a few things you will need to do to prepare the area before you get started. First, you will need to remove any existing flooring and clean the subfloor. Next, you will need to roll out the rubber flooring and cut it to size. Now move to the steps of rubber flooring installation. Step 1. Gathering the materials for your rubber flooring project. Rubber flooring is available in a variety of forms, such as rolls, tiles, and interlocking mats. Although there are some small variances in how you lay your flooring to obtain a well-bonded surface, the materials listed below are suitable for most installations. Rubber flooring of choice. Heavy-duty double-sided tape. Utility knife. Cleaning materials including mop and brush. Chalk. Straight-edge tool. Carpet roller. Step 2. Pre-installation prep work. After you've put your supplies together, the next stage in your rubber floor installation process is to clean it thoroughly. To avoid issues with the adhesive, you'll need to clean off any dirt or debris from the area. Any moisture from spills or grease should be wiped up completely from the existing floor area before installation and let dry. If you're using rubber flooring that comes in a roll, this is a good time to take it out of the package and use weights on each corner to help it smooth out. You can skip this step if you're utilizing tiles or rubber stud flooring. Step 3. Loose laying your rubber flooring. After you've carefully prepped the space, loose lay your flooring across the room without using any glue at this point. If you're using a rubber roll, start at one end of the wall and roll outward. You may rough cut the pieces to size and use the chalk to indicate any overhangs, which you can then trim more accurately with your utility knife later. Step 4. Bonding your rubber flooring. It's time to apply heavy-duty double-sided tape to the room once you've laid out your rubber flooring plan and are satisfied that you have all of the materials you'll need to finish your installation. Mark the border of your room with this, but keep the release tape off for now. If you're using tiles instead of a roll, be sure to include strips of tape for each tile that has to be placed. Remove the release tape and push the rubber flooring into place after the glue is in place, being sure to follow the product instructions on the package, which will normally have the glossy surface facing upwards. It's critical to position the flooring onto the tape rather than let it fall into place. After that, apply strong pressure to the rubber to eliminate any remaining lumps or bubbles. Any adjacent pieces of flooring must be flat with one another, and you may use your straight edge tool to do this. Step 5. Rolling the finished installation. Allow each piece of rubber flooring to rest for an hour or so once you're satisfied with its placement. This will allow the glue to set properly. After that, work over the top of your flooring with a carpet roller, and repeat at 75 and 90 minutes. Use the carpet roller both widthwise and lengthwise, and be careful not to displace the installation during this final phase. One of the most popular flooring options on the market today is rubber flooring. Thanks to its many benefits, rubber flooring has been installed in both commercial and residential settings. If you're considering rubber flooring for your home or business, then you'll need to know how to install it properly. Installing rubber flooring is not a difficult task, but we have mentioned a few things you'll need to keep in mind. 